Hey, it's called Brown Foundation. But boom, boom. TV show. Gonna be a good one today. Marcus Garvey, Bob Marley, uh, 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 and all about women and all about the solution. It's big about it. I'm dedicating this one to friends of Mike Chat. Mic check. Uh, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, well, two, um, three. When we do the mic checks, just go ahead and um, say your, your, you know, like how you host the show. You do the mic check? Yeah, because when you foundation. say testing, one, two, three, you're like yeah. testing, one, two, three. But if right. we do Brown. Carter Brown Foundation, that's your yeah. that's your tone and your voice, how you're saying your yeah, show. Yeah, I'm going to come with you. Yeah. <clears throat> you just thought to bring something to drink. We got cups up there. Did you need some water? Yeah. AJ! Go look at the bottom drawer here and bring a cup to Mr. Brown, please. We need a little water for the 30 minute show. You bring it in closer? I wish it be on. Yes, sir. Okay, make sure. Oh, you think we're trying to hunt? No, no, it's cool. It's cool. Right there. Oh. I, I can okay. situate. Bring it around. Let me make sure I look. I get it good. Bam. Yeah. Right here. There we go. Oh, go put water in it. This way. There we go. Bring it in. Just fill up the cup. Hey, call Brown Foundation. But if you want to talk, if you're talking to this camera, I'll just switch it to that camera. Okay. But it really don't matter. I mean, yeah. I just get your answer. Yeah, I'm going to be able to read it, so I'm good. All right, you ready? Yeah. Final set, all phones on vibrate. Can you see me here, Mr. Brown? Yes. Ready. Girls, I'm going to need you guys to be quiet. Thank you. Start the right way. My fault. It's the bigger bite. I'm dedicating this one to friends of African Union, my brother's keeper, and cut on Brown Monday. Shoot, that's not working. That is on. Did the mute light come on? Is it big? There we go. 
Yeah, I would have messed up your show for sure. <laughs> Sorry! Okay, here we go now, here we go now. I'm like, why is I getting all this extra echo? Okay. Hey, it's the College and Ground Foundation TV show. Hey, it's going to be a very powerful show today because it's in time with a new time with what's going on in this generation today. So we're going to start it off with two quotes. First, the first quote is going to be from Martin Luther King because I think this show is worthy of his guidance. Uh, that uh, his greatest manifestation of hope was that one day humanity would get out of its own way and realize that love and nonviolence were not indicators of weakness. They were indicators of great strength on how me, you, and people of African descent could come together all over the world and that love and unity uh, would move mountains. Uh, and then we're going to also uh, start it off with Edmund Burke because Edmund Burke stated that the only way that evil can prevail is that good people uh, do nothing. Uh, and, uh, and that good people do nothing. And, and that's the way it is today. And uh, so we're going to move right on with the show with the first photo. And it's going to be about our most beloved queens of African descent. It's not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Can you get my first photo there, Evan? And just let me know when it's up. And we're going to go right into this. Here is a medical secret that the white world hides from you. Do you know that when a pre when when pregnant by white men, most black women requires a special shot to prevent their bodies from aborting their babies? Because of the RH factor found within over 90% of Caucasians. The RH stands for recessus. A recessus is short for recessus monkey. Caucasians carry the same bud protein and gene found in the recessus monkeys. Uh, the more truth you learn, the more you will understand why hate that they hate us so much. When the RH factor is injected into the blood, transfusion, semen, sex into an African anti-RH anticoagulant automatically develops in the bloodstream of the African. The African body automatically responds by protecting itself from the RH, the recessus gene. Uh, the, they've, been, they've been programmed Many of our minds to adore them, but our bodies still reject them. You know, uh, it's about the truth today. You know, that's what it's about today. So, you know, that's how we're going to bring it to you today. You know, we're going to bring it to you because, you know, you got a lot of people getting up uh, talking about because our women have a certain skin tone, you know, they are not worthy. Well, we want to show you beyond a reasonable doubt why uh, all of these things, because see, the only thing that can put uh, the, the actions in the right places is the light of truth. And the light of truth must be brought into the world. So can you give me the next photo, uh, please, uh, my editor? Because that's what we're about today. You know, we're about uplifting our queens, warning our queens, and bearing witness to our queens that our body even rejects these people. Y'all have been forced for so many years that now, due to economics, uh, Y'all willing to resort to, you know, even being with that? Because if you get pregnant, you have to go to a, you have to have a shot at the hospital because these people are toxic to us. Our bodies even reject them. I mean, the sun rejects them. If you're not native to this planet, um, 
the sun will accept you. So this is how I started looking at them after I found out the truth. When I found out the truth that the original name was Turtle Island and you know they had stolen our, con our continent and we was under an occupation by occupation war force and you know this was a fact and also it was a republic which was the District of Columbia which is a republic with the three stars in the District of Columbia and their corporation of the Queen of England along with France, Portuguese, Australia, you know all these people you know the truth. Can you give me the next photo we have an opportunity there please uh, my uh we're gonna move right on with this show. It's gonna be a good show today. You know, not knowing the truth doesn't make you ignorant. Not wanting to know uh, the truth is what makes you ignorant. You know, we wanna leave that there for a minute. You know, we wanna we wanna go over that. You know, not knowing the truth does not make you ignorant, right? You know, you go to a person and talk to them, and then you know, okay, you don't wanna accept the truth. But your children think your stuff is true. I went to the public library. Can you leave it up for a second? I went to the public library yesterday over on Red and Road and uh, went in there and, in, you know, it has been a DNA test in the United Nations. And the ones that they say that are the Indians are really Arab people. It's a DNA test. Test done. We are 98% of the people of African descent, all the native people. The people was brought over here and just, you know, to come over here and take over the land. Not wanting to know the truth is what makes you ignorant. You know, the original name of America, you know, the children got a right to know, because they believe this stuff, man. We can process it. And they say it when we allow this social engineering to go on. Can you please move to the next photo? 100, man. 100, that's what we are at today. You know, 100, uh, own it with the truth. You know, we're gonna show, you know, and talk to the people. Because see, we need to look up in the sky and find one reason and, and see that a storm is only temporary. And the thing that is 100% constant is change. And we have to change our mind and come into the natural order of things. And it's never too late because today is here, yesterday is gone. Can you come to the next photo please, my editor? You know, very powerful show today. Uh, Cause we at that today, you know, this is Jai Rastafari by Marley. The problem is people are being hated when they are real and are being loved when they are fake. And can you leave that there for a second, my editor? You know, we walk on the shoulders of our ancestors. You know, I am you and you are me and we are our ancestors. We go and begin to read this from Mr. Bob Marley who gave his life so that we may become work. The problem is, the problem is people are being hated when they are real and are being loved when they are fake. Mr. Bob Marley, uh, we pray to you, we walk with you. Uh, when we pour libations, uh, we call on you to walk with us so your actions may become part of ours. Ja soldiers, Ja bless. We leave with our left foot as we move with the heart. Can we go to the next photo, please, my editor? Very powerful show today. You know, that's what we're about today, man. You know, uh, uh, we're about that change. So, the, the probably never seen peeps like these. Add to the family tree, black southern and Japanese. The first Japanese people were black and came from Africa by way of India. This is why you never learn about Japanese history before samurai period. Okay, can you leave that up there for a second, my editor? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's just a thing that, you know, it's up that's showing the African emperors of, 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 of Japan. And also, you know that we built the Japan Wall, the people of African descent. You know, uh, you know the edict went out from Queen Isabella. You know, if you wasn't a Catholic, uh, to, you had a right to kill everybody. And all of our allies who were the Asians and all them uh, became the allies with the Europeans and they still allies with them today. Uh, they're doing a lot of work with Africa, but like they say, the genocide system is so endemic in their system that it's beyond one person and it needs a complete overhaul. Agenda 2030, Agenda 2063, United Nations Universal Periodic Review, Decade of People of African Descent. Can you move on to the next photo, uh, please, my editor? Uh, and that's what we're about today. We're about being that change. You know, about, you know, doing what's required 
so that uh, others and our youth may have life for tomorrow. Because, he, okay, now, you know, Trump and all these people's coming out, you got the new senator up. Can you leave that up for a minute? The new senator up uh, talking about uh, if you elect this guy, he's a monkey. Then you got the Asian guy, which they are in bed together, the Asian and the, the European, right? Because, you know, they have to exterminate our people in, you know, the genocide in Japan. Well, you know, a lot of our people still over there, but America won't apologize for what they did to us because they are still doing it. You know, this is a fact. You know, uh, Mr. Maluma over in uh, South Africa got up. Can you leave that up there for a second? He got up there and stated to the world, stated to the world, that there's genocide going on in America, there's genocide going on in South Africa, and there's genocide in all places of African descent throughout the world. And it needs to change. These people need to change their actions. Uh, the Queen of England should be incarcerated ASAP with a whole family and all of her comrades in the document of the granted the, the Catholic Magistrate to Catholic Magistrate to uh, Christopher Columbus. Uh, can you move on with the last photo? Then we're gonna talk about the solution to all this foolishness because you know we need to see the truth. Because we need to see why we need to get up and be the change we can. My brother is a reflection of me. I can't fly if he is falling. Can you leave that up for a minute? That means my brother and my sister. You know, that's only allegorical to tell you the spirit, the mentality that is coming into the world now. Because what they're not telling you about the horoscope, the one that's coming in now is the, 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 the horoscope of Hathor. They call it something else, but it's Hathor, it's the goddess, right? The sky lady. You know, go up and look up the original uh, name of um, uh, Turtle Island, the original name of North America, uh, for the original name for North America. And when you see that, you will see yourself. You will see that you have a complete history. There were 18 million of us already here when they got here. Okay, they shipped some people out of Africa. They didn't ship everybody out of Africa. We the native people over here. Uh, we study the same religion, spirituality that they studied in Africa. My brother is my reflection of me. I can't fly if he is falling. We have to, we have to put down our petty differences. We have to be able to, to walk freely amongst the earth in order for us to see commerce so that we can all grow together. I am you and you are me. We need to love each other. Unity in the community, in the African world community, together. That's what we're doing today. So, you know, I'm going to go on to this. I'm going to, how many minutes I got left, my editor? 11. 11 minutes, okay. Well, you know, I'm going to go into this. This is the Carl Brown Foundation, Ohio Non-Reporting Unincorporated Association. That's what this is right here, registered in the state of Ohio uh, to be that chain. So I'm going to read from here. Uh, you know, what my responsibilities are for the people and for me to be ready to, to, to do that responsibility at a moment's notice. And I do this uh, on a continual basis, advocating this and working with royalty and other African people in order to make these things manifest. To whom it might be served, this is Friends of the African Union, Civil Society, Equisite, Joint Venture Partner with New Future Foundation, established in 2014. C J51 UPR22 USA underslash E underslash Maine parentheses who created a African diaspora this document during the United Nations Week 2017 to the 21st annual session of the working group of experts of people of African descent is organized by the Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights. 20 to 24th November 2017 in Geneva, Switzerland, as our response to the report of the Working Group of Experts on People of African Descent on this mission to the USA. We did so bearing in mind that the United States of America, founding members of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Rights, practice. From its formation, it is a constitution, 1788, human slavery, 
It was legal from 1788 to 1865. And, and that means uh, uh, 77 years it was legal. Slavery. They don't teach that in the school. In 1868, the free slaves of other persons in the USA were given citizenship through the 14th Amendment and act, act for a mention the United States Constitution. The USA federal government practiced institutionalized federal government racism from 1866 to 1965. Okay, we're gonna get that straight. Okay, 1965, that means we only had 78 years of some civil rights. These people have not yet even admitted to give us human rights. These people keep trying to tell us that our history don't even exist. These people are, I, you know, like I said, I work with the, the, the Human Rights Council in Geneva, uh, and that's what we're about. We're about exposing these so that our children uh, can have, be, have beacons of a future for tomorrow. So on Americans of African descent, through this document, we reaffirm our actions in civil society under relevant international human rights instruments. In particular, the International Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in Resolution 2106 XX of 21 of December 1965 to address problems such as past history of institutionalized racism in the USA. We understand that the Durban Declaration and Programming of Action adopted by the World Conference Against Racism and Racial Discrimination, Zixphonia, and Related Intolerances remain the only instructive outcome of the Conference Against Racism, Racial Discrimination, Zixphonia, and Related Intolerances which is the tool used to prescribe comprehensive measures and remedies for the effective combatment of scourges of racism on at all levels. At all levels. You know, the people who are practicing these, these racial tendencies and racial lessons that they keep passing on to their children, they're not gonna like to hear this. But this is this is a world movement. This is 118 countries coming together to do what must be done, Agenda 2030, Agenda 2063. Recalling Human Rights Council Resolution 5 slash 1 uh, on the inst institution building of the Council of 5 slash 2 on the Code of Conduct on Special Procedures and Mandate Holders of the Council of 18 of June 2007 and stressing that the mandate holder shall dis discharge his or her duties in accordance with the resolution and the annexes thereto. Uh, placing the faith in the World Conference Against Racism, Racial Discrimination, Zixphonia and Related Intolerance, held in Durban in 2001, which adopted the Durban Declaration Programming of Action, Paragraph 7, Durban Programming and Action, specifically requested to the Commission on Human Rights to consider establishing the working group and other mechanism of the United Nations to study the problems of racial discrimination. Faced by people of African descent living in the diaspora, which by, which by, which by our count is over 300 million. People worldwide, including Africans not in their country of birth and make Proposal of the Elimination of Racial Discrimination Against People of African Descent. Understanding the mandate of the working group and experts of, of people of African descent established in 2002 by the Commission on Human Rights, Resolution 2002-68 as, as a special procedure and is composed of independent experts. The mandate was subsequently renewed by the Commission on Human Rights and Human Rights Council Resolution CR 2003-30 Commission on Human Rights and 2008 HRC RS-9-14-2011-2011-2011 slash 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 HRC slash RES-18-28-2014 slash slash HRC slash 
RES slash 2725 in the Human Rights Council Resolution 9 slash 14 entrusted the working group to the following obligations. To study the problem of racial discrimination faced by people of African descent living in the diaspora. We have to go out and, and, and to study the problem of racial discrimination faced by people of African descent living in this diaspora and to that end gather the relevant information from governments, non-governmental organizations and other relevant sources including through holding public meetings with them. That's what I do on a continual basis, hold public meetings with the community to propose measures to ensure full effective access to justice system by people of African descent, to submit recommendations to design implementation and enforcement of effective measures to eliminate racial profiling of people of African descent. That means the police coming through your neighborhood now hunting stalkers like animals. I'm responsible for making sure the offer solutions to put a stop to that in our beloved city of Cincinnati, Ohio. And for all people, 300, mil 300 million outside the African diaspora and the 1.2 billion in Africa. To make proposal on the elimination of racial discrimination against Africans or people of African descent in all parts of the world, all parts of the world, to address all issues concerning well-being of Africans, people of African descent, contained in the Durban Declaration and Programming of Action. Action, like, you know, if I pick up this cup right here, right? See, I could have let that cup sit there for a thousand years, but because I put some action on it, it manifested into the world of the living. This is the Durban, and the Durban Declaration and Programming of Action. I'm gonna put some action on it and it's gonna manifest into the world of the living. Real talk, we all got that deal. To elaborate short, medium, long-term proposals, elimination of racial discrimination against people of African descent, bearing in mind the need for close collaboration with international and development institutions and specialized agencies of the United Nations system to promote the human rights of people of African descent through inter-allied performing activities. Improving the human rights situation of people of African descent by devoting special attention to their needs through inter-allied perception of specific programming of action. Designing special projects in collaboration with people of African descent to support initiatives in the community level and to facilitate exchange of information and, and technical know-how between the populations and experts in these areas. Liaison with financial and development institutions and op operational programming of specialized agencies of the United Nations, which a view uh, contribute to the development of programming intended for people of African descent by allocating additional investments to the health system, education, housing, electric, drinking water, and environmental control measures, and promoting equal opportunities in employment as well as other affirmative or positive measures and strategies within the human rights framework. We're talking about human rights. You know, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about native rights. We're talking about native indigenous rights of the decade of people of African descent, which I am. If you identify yourself as anything else, you are, you are not even a citizen in America. In 2014, at the 40th meeting of the Human Rights Council on September 26 with the resolution 2725, the HIC further extended me a mandate of working group for these years 2014 to 2017. In that request, it further five requests stated non-governmental organizations such as, as your organization, Virgin Allen, Youth Advocacy Coalition, Friends of the African Union, relevant human rights treaty bodies, special procedures, other mechanisms of the Human Rights Council, national human rights institutions, international, international financial and development institutions, specialized agencies, programming, and funds of the United Nations to collaborate with the working group, including by inter-providing with the necessary information 
and with possible report in order to enable working group to carry out its mandate, including with regard to field to field missions. Request to Secretary General in the United Nations High Council High Commission for Human Rights to provide the working group with all human technical and financial assistance necessary for the substantial and effective fulfillment of its mechanism, of its mandate. Recalls the establishment of the voluntary fund to provide additional resources for inter-island participation of people of African descent, representatives of developing countries, especially the least developed countries, non-governmental organizations, and experts in open-end sessions of the working group and invites states to contribute to the fund. You know, that's what we'll be out today. You know, we'll be out being the change that is required. We'll be out stepping forward. He said, we look forward to 2018 to hosting the following upcountry visit by the report on the working group of experts and the people of African descent on this mission to the United States of America issued in, 2000, in August 2016. You, Herschel Daniels Jr., Chairman of the Friends of the African Union, October 18, 2017. Preamble, the United States of America, founding member of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, practiced from its formation and constitution human slavery and was legal from 1788 to, to 1865 and practiced institutionalized government, federal government racism from 1868 to 1965 on Americans of African descent. So, you know, we just want to come to you today. Hopefully this has been a very informative and powerful show, and I promise to be more well, with information for you next week. And, you know, I just want you to know that I work for you. You know, this is your television show, community, Abigail. You know, they're selling all the buildings up and down the street. Carlton Brown's going to be doing an investigation into that and find out what's really going on to happen to these buildings. So, you know, I'm going to end my show today and I'm going to come to you uh, with a quote from Mandela. And he said, I am you and you are me. And, you know, uh, Marcus Garvey said he is, you know, a, a, a tree. A, a, a people without their history is like a tree without roots. That means you're going to die. So are you ready to get up and live? And Edmund Burke said it this. The only way that evil can prevail is that good people do nothing. Stand good people do nothing. I am you. Camera is still on you. Move around. All right. Like, look at your papers and stuff. Smile at the camera. Look up like you're talking to me and stuff. <laughs> All right. Now wave by the camera. Good job. Camera's off of you. Good, good, good job. Work. Good work. That's a good way to eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to eat it. All right, y'all. That's how we gonna go. That's how we go. Hey. That's how we go. That's how we go. That's how we go. That's how we go. All right, everybody, very powerful show today. You know, that's what it's about today. All right, all right. It was my editor in the background. You know, hopefully everybody enjoyed the show. You know, that's what we're about today, man. Each one teach one. Each one uplift one. Each one become.
the change that required. Remember, unity in the community, unity in the African world community. Yeah.